Hello, Sierra Leoneans. This is Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden. I did talk to her on September 8, 2020. And this is audio number 008 in my ongoing conversation with my people, them, Sierra Leone, and with friends, them across the world. Today, I intend for look at three issues. The first one is personal, and it will be very short now about me. Daddy will bond me. Mr. Edward Walter Babatunde Blyden. Commonly, the name we all man know I'm from Babatunde Blyden. The second one, now about the role where President Momo play in giving us a blueprint for protect with democracy and sustain them in the sense of ensuring that nobody again can ever be president for more than two terms inside this country, no matter what. You don't serve two terms. President Momo makes sure say nobody else can ever serve for more than two terms. We will look into that. And then the last issue we will look into, again, that to the credit of President Momo. And that therefore do with waiting the Constitution say about commission of inquiry and how President Momo protect with democracy way back then for ensure say no other future president who can use commission of inquiry for poor with democracy. I listen to one audio where one SLPP man they do. It's about 40 something minutes. He just they attack me all types of ways. Well, me, I don't always talk and from where I begin this audio. I'm not going to agree with me, say, me, I, I don't cost nobody and I don't intend for cost anybody. Because me, I believe the brains where God give me. Intellectually, I can take on anybody without, I'm not going to go and cost, cost you. So that SAPP man will pull that audio, the cost, cost me. That your business, cost the. But the person make a mention of me daddy say, me daddy na dem in there with for the sanko na dem form RUF in there with rebels. And you know some of them points there, you not find you left and let just go like that. You not correct them. So uh, they use this opportunity today for briefly, very briefly, because if I want to talk about me daddy and the role where me daddy play inside Sierra Leone. Now, one whole week business, not even one whole day, one whole week. And I doubt if the one whole week go do. But I will try for talking briefly. First of all, I can assure you, I say, me daddy not sabu na name for the sanko. Me daddy not sabu anybody when an RUF rebel. Me daddy not one day get any connection with RUF. This not just malicious propaganda for poor the man in name. My daddy, that then start what we call civil society activism in this country. Youth activism. My daddy, that I'm commissioner in the National Commission for Democracy. And this national pledge, what they read so, that my daddy, at the inside the study, that we house. When my daddy they write the national pledge, now my daddy write them. There's a lot of other wonderful things I can say about my daddy. But I just want for assure when I say that audio where they insult my daddy, they say my daddy na me rebel, me do it for the sanko, all na rubbish. Then they do them for distract me. Of course, all the side away then they cost me, me not be seen. <laughs> One thing I want for assure me detractors then today. 
we are not able to pull me come out inside the hearts of Sierra Leoneans. Trust me. Sierra Leoneans, they don't let me down. Sierra Leoneans, they, they don't let me down. When I lock me in a jail, they don't let me down. When I call me this kind name, oh, they don't let me down. When I abuse me, oh, they don't let me down. You go north, you go south, you go east, you go west. So as they let like me. The best thing I'm able to do is to hijack leadership of various associations or organizations or entities and then when I incite them one and day for make them tune against Sylvia. But when it comes to the grassroots, when it comes to the common man, then don't let me down. <laughs> so now they go and write and talk. Any two now want write and talk. You know they shake me. You know they shake Sierra Leoneans there either. Then don't let me down. So there, when I want me to listen to that audio, I just want to clarify for that sign number for me, Daddy. All the rubbish show them talk about me. Me not be seen. Because no say una una we matter. Una not be seen. Una don't let me down. So since I don't clarify that part, they say me daddy you know sabuda name for the Sanko Sef. No one they gonna bush Sef. No one they know sabi a ref rebel then Sef. Since I don't clarify that side, eh? Make a turn out to the issue of we form a president. And the role where he play for we, for sustain, we multi-party democracy. Former President, His Excellency, Major General Dr. Joseph Saidu Momo, he left a legacy for this country where we somehow not the praise him enough as he deserves to be praised. This is the man where, as a sitting president, he should say he was waiting with man called a servant leader. That is, he then had the position of presidency with all the powers that end He had a lot of powers. He choose for dilute them powers then they. That man was a great man. He didn't have power. He said, don't do, he said, he didn't have the power. Now he said, self choose back, say, this power, a baby rebe power, it's too much for one green person. He not go allow democracy for thrive. Me people, they not go free because one green man get too much power. So let we dilute the power. So in the process where they change from one party state constitution to multi-party democracy constitution, the late President Joseph Saidu Momo, may his soul rest in peace. He was a great man. The late President Momo ensure. He implements, he puts certain in them inside the 1991 constitution. When I for protect with democracy, so that even after Ingo don't die, the one the way they come after him, they're not go able for abuse presidential authority because it don't weaken the powers of the presidency. As we may know him. And today, as they can address pan this particular aspect, what they pan now, one way we do him. Now, pan tenure of office, where a president of Sierra Leone they get. President Momo makes sure say, no president. Go ever again inside this country. 
serve for more than two terms. <laughs> I repeat. President Momo, assisted by his then able Attorney General, Dr. Abdullahi Conte, and other great men of that period day, I will name one, Dr. Bubuake Jabi. They ensure, say, then change the constitution from seven years' time because first then that seven years we didn't vote for president, you didn't have position for seven years. I mean they under the one party state. You know that one party where they tell us say one party, SLPP and APC that they mean they together as one, the SLPP politician, the APC politician, and they mean they run Sierra Leone as one. Under that one party state, the presidency in a seven year term for seven years, we didn't vote for president for seven years. I know the president of Sierra Leone. President Momo seated as a president with that kind of power day. He make the sacrifice, say, no, my people are more important than myself. So they reduced me powers now from seven years to five years. So President Momo changed that 1978 one party state constitution. Women give seven years to any elected president for serve. President Momo, may his soul rest in peace. Say seven years too long. And then change in the 1991 constitution now say it will only be five years. This was President Momo. Nobody not forced him for change him. He decided that seven years too long for one great person for day without going back to the people for renew your mandate. So President Momo changed him from seven years to five years because he was a Democrat. He believed in democracy. He believed that no more than five years, you for go back to the people and go ask the people them back, say, yeah, the work what they do, is correct? If it's correct, you vote for me back. If it's not correct, we'll not change me now to other person. But not only that, something else the way President Momo do for this country. You see, in the 1978 One Party State Constitution, Yandabak, now two terms, nine no more president get. It was two terms of seven years each. So in other words, a president be able to serve for 14 years according to the 1978 constitution. The words were, no one president shall hold office for more than two consecutive terms. And each term, I mean, seven years. But guess what? Now I see the kind of great man where President Momo was. Lawyers then come meet him. Then tell and say, you see how this thing, the wording of this thing? It means to say, you as president, after you don't serve two consecutive terms, you can go, you go blow for one term. Other person rule instead of one term. Whether one term they don't, you they come back and contest because the words say no more than two consecutive terms, meaning you know for do three consecutive terms, but you can take a break and then you come back. But President Momo, you look at them, Pim, you see the way they not like this country. If they like this country, they're not going to want one great man no more for their power for more than two terms. And another thing President Momo do. He go now, he changed the words of the 1978 Constitution. We mean say no more than two terms, no more than two consecutive terms. Because you don't see the loophole where people the one can use for bell and sepa. You can serve two terms. After two terms, you go rest. Where you rest, after one time, other person rule, then they come back again. You can rule back again. Once we interrupt the two terms. President Momo look pim. 
He said, I don't see. Say, one great man not for dinner power for too long. Otherwise, the people you know, they enjoy the democracy. So President Momo now changed the words and he added something there. He added an English phrase where he say, whether or not the terms are consecutive. So when you go look the 1978 one party constitution, it will tell you that side, that statement will give loophole. But when you come to the 1991 constitution of President Momo Giwi, under section 46 1, President Momo make and say whether or not the terms are consecutive. It means to say two terms only, whether or not consecutive, whether consecutive, two terms, you know they come back as president. Once you don't have two terms, goodbye. President Momo and I left that legacy there for we. So then Daisy, I see some people there. And they pass up and down on social media and they pass around. They say, that we other former president, my former boss, His Excellency, former president, Dr. Anes Baikuruma. They say, if I can contest back in 2023. Well, family, they are tell you now. It's not possible. It's not going to be. The constitution, President Momo, me don't block him. No person in Sierra Leone can ever serve for more than two terms, whether or not consecutive. Whether you go, you go wait, whether you come, it's not possible. President Anes Baikoma can never, ever be a president of Sierra Leone again. It's finished. It don't have two terms. That's it. And the reason why I make President Momo, Dr. Abdullah Konte, Dr. Bubuake Jabi, and so many other great men of that time do am, that because they don't want a situation where, with democracy the day now, one great man, all man they say now this man is possible say he might become president again. So when the man they do rubbish, or the man not they live up to expectations, people then they hesitate for tell him. Because then they look, say, hey, this, so tell this pie, they can't be the next president back again. If I can't talk now, just know, it go vex by me. And eh, if you can't be president now, you, you know, that sick of fancy, what me they tell them about that last audio, that opportunism. So then when they look now, like for say, president, former president, Anes Baikuma, it possible say he might contest elections again. So if they contest again, let them take them while and they talk to them. Let them take them, let them not tell them to elect if they do bad, elect if they do what he's supposed to do. They know they, they go afraid for tell them. And in the process, the democracy they poil because nine days the leader and chairman of the main opposition party. So elect if they do all kinds of things they were wrong. Then they will tell them because they're afraid to say a future president. Well, they're not afraid anymore. He can never, ever be president again in Sierra Leone. Anes Baikoma can never, ever be president again in Sierra Leone. Section 46.1 of the 1991 Constitution. A former president, Momo, me don't lock that loophole day. For ensure say freedom day. For ensure say one great man cannot dominate the landscape, the political landscape, and get people now not for free, or for able for thrive for make the democracy thrive. So una way they under that mistaken uh, position they and just in case because you know one they tell me that and uh, no one believe that, but just in case former president Kuma himself might mean they under that mistaken impression they they go finally go look section forty six one properly. You serve two terms. And that's it. You can never come back again as president of Sierra Leone. That's it. Whosoever they under that mistaken belief they no no no. President Momomi don't take care of that issue they. Democracy means constant turnover of fresh people them coming in with fresh ideas. And clearly, we cannot have a situation where the one man will come back again as president after two terms. It's not happening. It's not ever going to happen. 
And fortunately, the 1991 constitution, that particular side, and I want to call the entrenched clause, were very difficult for change. So do ya, una way they go around and talk, say, former president and his bike Roma can contest the game. Una know they help the APC and una know they help the country. This is almost the same thing when we happen the ten way within governance, where some people that may come up with this third time, third time, more time, more time, and then distract the party away from building up would have been for be the real successor with enough time for be marketed. Spent all their time on a futile endeavor. Something we're not going to produce fruits. They say third time for an Chroma or more time for an Chroma. And at the end of the day, we see we all suits our day now. So do you let that be very made made very much clear that President Momo ensured that no Sierra Leonean can ever serve as president for more than two terms. Dr. Anes Baikuma in 10 years done can never be president again as Sierra Leone. I'm not forget about that talk The next issue where Aruka handle again na President Momo na Indoan for this country. And that's now with effect to the Commissions of Inquiry and White Papers. You see, under the 1978 Constitution, whosoever I mean the president, he get the power for set up any commission of inquiry where he wants set up. Now in power, now in right. The same way like how right now, anybody in a president, he get the power for set up a commission of inquiry into anything if he say if for set up a commission of inquiry into. But President Momo mean don't see something we mean sinister, we mean bad, we will affect a real democratic culture, we will make opposition might possibly be suppressed. He see say a president might come in the future. We get dictatorial tendency. And he go want for suppress the opposition. And he go want for use commission of inquiry and white paper as a means for suppress the opposition. And if the opposition don't suppress, the opposition not able for oppose. And any country where opposition not they Opposition not a function properly. It's no longer a democracy. It is now a dictatorship. So President Momomi don't see far. Say commission of inquiry now a tool where they can use set up commission of inquiry from people them. Get what they call white paper. And then, then they announce the white paper. Then they reveal the the report of the Commission of Inquiry. But they use the white paper in the commission now for blackmail the opposition. So the opposition are able to oppose. So they cannot hand over the report of the Commission of Inquiry to whoever are the president. And then that person, they deliberately refuse for produce the white paper and publish the report. Rather, what did they do? It just they call the opposition in a corner, like in call in a net. Say, hey, hey, then say, you, now you want to oppose social and so on for do? Well, look you white paper, if you stagger at the puller. So perpetually, they hold the white paper now for blackmail the opposition. Anything the opposition want for oppose, he say, hey, at the puller white paper, oh. The opposition and they go inside and shell. Then they scared. As they want to do them work so for oppose. He say, hey, you don't begin back here. Eh? And they pull white paper. Oh. So now this thing will depend. The five years they done, the opposition not able for oppose. And in the process, the democracy they weak. 
Because democracy, we're not going to opposition, not to democracy. Not dictatorship. That one, they don't debate, not upon that. If the opposition don't fail, the opposition don't useless, the opposition don't incompetent, because so they blackmail the opposition with white paper, where they don't, want, they don't get some, everything ready, but then they pull out. They don't say use that number for blackmail. That is not a democracy. No, no, one great man show. Now, a dictatorship that any. So, what team President Momo do? He can put something inside the 1991 constitution where no mean day na the one party state. He makes sure say he put an on the multi party democratic constitution. And what's in that day? He now make a, a constitutional mandatory on any president. Una listen, no? Mandatory by force. Shall. Any president will set up a commission of inquiry by the constitution of 1991. You only get six months within which you for produce the white paper. Just six months. If you wait more than six months, the constitution or they allow that. You they get into what we call a conundrum. And why make them do this? I mean, for protect with democracy, so that no more than six months. You want blackmail the opposition, self? No more than six months. You cannot blackmail them for more than six months. So President Momo ensured the democracy was protected because you're only able to blackmail the opposition for six months. After six months, you get for pull the white paper. Uh, in fact, within six months, you get for pull the white paper. You get for pull the report. And even if, Unadisino, even if you decide, say, you know, want for pull the report for whatever reason, you get for tell the people of Sierra Leone. Say, now me mean set up commission of inquiry, but I need to pull the report again. And I need to pull out for so so and so reasons. You for tell them the reasons. So you see how President Momo protects with democracy? You see how President Momo protects the opposition party? He don't see far into the future. Imagine this talk what they tell you now, now almost 30 years ago. Now President Momo, they see the potential for a wicked president for come sometime in the future. Set up a commission of inquiry. And then he refused for release the white paper and the report. Because he won't use them for blackmail the opposition. So President Momo ensured the 1991 constitution. Say six months you for pull that report. Six months you for pull that white paper. After six months, you cannot. It's mandatory. You're going to go look at the Constitution. So these were the protective mechanisms then where the late former President Momo put in place for sustain with democracy. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, it is up to us now, now we own generation this now, for maintain and uphold what we inherit from President Momo. For ensure, say, what do we inherit from President Momo in the form of the 1991 Constitution? We ensure, say, it go according to how that gentleman mean vision and forgo. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I will end audio 008 today. And as always, as I did do nowadays, I go play the national anthem. And I go ask when I say, as the music they play, make when they reflect on their minds, waiting at the words of the national anthem who can sing, and waiting at the meaning of them words then they, and what it mean for we as a nation. So on that note today, Tell them all thank you for listening to me. May God bless we all. Amen. <laughs>